Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Divine Debu, this is Kathy speaking. Thank you for visiting my channel once again. For all you newcomers, thank you for taking the time out to check these uh, readings out. I would like to thank all of you subscribers, all the people who have bought readings from me and I do want to show my gratitude to you by um, thanking you and uh, hopefully trying to do more readings if possible. I am moving house this month, but I will be trying to get in more readings. Um, now, let's talk about uh, the astrology side of things, just a general overview. Um, Mercury has gone forward uh, since the beginning of the week, which is wonderful to see. It's always a blessing when Mercury is going um you know, forward and not being in retro mode because then uh, we do have mishaps, uh, misunderstandings and difficulty in going forth. Um, also, Jupiter has gone forth um, from the um, 9th of May, which is um, great also because Jupiter is all about abundance and luck coming in. Um, Mars is still retrograde. Uh, it will be going into Scorpio, I think, today, actually. Today being the um, 27th of May. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you guys, this is your June love and general reading. Okay, so today is the 27th of May, when um, where Mars retrograde goes back into Scorpio, where it feels very comfortable, and hopefully things will be much better in that um aspect because uh, it does feel at home there now um also i do know that um neptune uh, the nebulous planet the one which does not help us see situations in the clear um it will be going retrograde i'm not sure of when because i'm not an astrologer um but i do know that re the retrograde will help us be able to see uh, the situation that we are looking into much more clearly. Now, I did uh, see, while I was shuffling for you, Sagittarius, I did see a picture in my mind of a window, um, a window with a curtain, a light blue curtain, which was, uh, the window was open, and the breeze, the uh, sea breeze, because this, this place uh, was right in front of the beach. So I did see the um, a calm air, just a, a slight wind coming through this um, almost transparent um, uh, veil, curtain, blue in colour, and the sea breeze was coming in to the, uh, to the house. Um, maybe that might be, that might have to do with Neptune um, going retrograde and you're able to see um, your path ahead. Um, of course, this will not speak to all of you. Don't forget this is a general reading. So just take that into account. If it does resonate with you, good. If not, um, does not matter. Now, um, I could see from the spread here, um, the first card that I have laid out is the star card, which is the card of Aquarius. The star card is a major arcana card, number 17, and it is a wonderful card. It's a very, very positive one. So um, there is a lot of blue in this card. So uh, healing, uh, and I did see the blue curtains. So maybe some news is coming into your, uh, into your life. You are finding out some news uh, which will be uh, healing you guys. Now, I do have some cards here. I've got the temperance in the hopes and fears position, another major arcana which talks about healing and finding your step. Um, so I think there is going to be healing. Um, we also have the um, we have the Two of Swords card, which is crossing um, over the Star card. So there is a decision uh, needing to be made uh, for, for your situation. And this lady does not have all the information so she is waiting on news so she can um, work out which is the best path to take 
Also, at the base of this situation, the root of the matter is the Six of Swords, which shows that we are going forth onto a more positive path, moving away from troubled waters. Um, so that's another sign why I said that there will be healing and um, when the news comes in, we will have a better outcome, a much more positive one. Um, in the near past situation, uh, I can see the card of the Emperor, number four of the Major Arcana, and this talks about stability and um, our... It could mean um, a mechanism of support because the Emperor is very supportive. He makes rulings. He is the above all ruler. So um, this card does have a couple of meanings, you know, where... Because number fours talk, uh, talk about our 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 home, our um, stability, our support system, yeah? So um, this is in the near past. Now above, crowning the reading, which is wonderful to see, we have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups always speaks of emotional fulfillment. It is a wonderful card. It is the first card of the, of the Cups uh, suit. And um, it is good to see that your cup uh, on your mind is that your cup will be overflowing and you will be emotionally complete and uh, happy in all aspects. Um, now, we are talking, this is a love reading. So very, very good to see in your spread as the crowning card. Now, in the near future, we've got the Justice card, which is number 11. Number 11 to me speaks of number two, a new path opening up. It is the future um, position. And the Justice always can speak about uh, severing ties in a partnership or a relationship uh, where there is a ruling, something is being split in two. Um, so for some of you, I can see that there is going to be a an ending and a new beginning. Now in the advice position, we've got the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups can mean that you are listening to your intuition because this is how people see you. Uh, she is a very emotional queen, a very intuitive queen. Um, yeah, so maybe you are just listening to to your intuition um, or maybe you, you are just feeling very emotional in the month of June. Above this, we've got the chariot, another major arcana. The chariot is bursting forth. This is in the environment position, which is a very, very positive card to have. The chariot speaks about uh, being able to steer your your um, your life in the right direction, and being in the environment position is wonderful. Absolutely, straight above that, in the hopes and fears, as I said before, the temperance card number fourteen, um, which says that uh, you are hoping to find your step, hoping to find your balance. The angels are blessing you. The universe is blessing you with the star as you showing up as the star. So your path forward is being lit and um, I can see that there has been difficulty because above that we've got the seven of rods. I am using the, um, the Hanson Roberts deck this month as I am using Sabila's as well for more clarification. Now the seven of rods is the seven of wands. And it is the card of perseverance and keeping up the fight, you know, um, insisting on what you're, what you're feeling and what you're hoping to accomplish, that it culminates. And you are doing a wonderful job at that. That is what the Seven of Rods shows. And um, the Seven of Rods this month has showed up quite a bit. So there is a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people sustaining their their hopes and um, keeping, you know, keeping strong at uh, trying to push through with what they want to culminate. And sorry, I did forget to mention that we just um, finished up with a full moon in Sagittarius. Um, it is the first consecutive full moon in Sag. And the um, indication should have been uh, noticed for most of you regarding what is going to culminate on the 20th of June which will be the second consecutive full moon in your sign 
Sagittarius. So something will be coming um, to light, something will be showing. So just keep that in mind. Now I said the Seven of Rods was the outcome card. The Ten of Cups is right next to that which shows emotional fulfillment on all levels. And on the right side of the Seven of Rods we've got the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords here shows to me that you have put up a battle being right next to the Seven of Rods. You are winning over all uh, uh, all odds. So your the fight that you are putting up is going to uh, make you be victorious and you are going to accomplish what you are fighting for. Now, um, starting, I uh, know, I'll, I'll just mention the, uh, at the bottom of the deck, we have got the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles to me is the card of independence, the card of being able to stand strong on your own. Um, in solitude, I would say, uh, you are being very ind independent and you are abundant in everything that your life needs. So it is a very positive card again. It sh just shows that you are able to pull through um, whatever situation you are looking at. Now I'm going to begin with the singles right now. For the singles, I, um, I do see that you are finding balance because of the Justice card being in the near future position. Uh, justice card is all about balance, right? Um, you are going to find balance um, and there may be a Libra coming into your life because the Justice card is the Libra card. Um, or if that's not the case because this is a general reading, having the Chariot, which is the card of Cancer, in the environment position, um, there may be a Cancer uh, coming into your life if it's not a Libra and um, this Cancer will be more than likely be, be showing up I would say when the Sun moves into Cancer which won't be very long. Now the Sun has just moved into Gemini so after that um, soon after we, we are having the Sun moving into Cancer so that may be the time when your new partner your new relationship uh, is coming coming to light, coming towards you. Now, um, yes, you will be having a lot of uh, healing, whether you have been in previous relationships, if, uh, if there has some, um, the Emperor is telling me that maybe some of you guys were in a relationship in the past with an Aries, because Aries relates to the Emperor card, and as I said before, this will not be for everyone. It will not be the same for all of you. Okay, there are thousands of people looking at these readings. So, um, yeah, you will be finding your, um, your balance and you will be healed coming out of a relationship with an Aries, which did give you a lot of hardship because um, I have put down Sabilas, even though you guys can't see them yet. I do have the enemy card there, so maybe there wasn't a not a, enough support in this uh, past relationship. But yes, this was for the singles. Now for the partnered people or married people, there may be a divorce because of the justice card in your near future. There may be a divorce either from an Aries, because Aries is showing up through the Emperor card, or a Libra because uh, the card of justice speaks of Libra. So, um, but there will be a new relationship um, either with a Libra, because it is the near future position, the justice card, or a Cancer, which shows up with a chariot card, which is um, the chariot card being in the environment position. So, um, Yes, you are, uh, you are being blessed by the universe because you are showing up as the star card. You have the star shining down upon you and lighting your path forward. The two of swords crossing the star card shows that you have got a decision, a major decision to make, but you do not have all the information because this woman is blindfolded. Now, because the root of the matter is the... Um, 
Six of Swords, it shows that you are moving on to Karma Waters. You are getting past the Emperor, which is showing in your past and relating to your stability and your home because the Emperor is number four. Uh, crowning your reading is the Ace of Cups, which shows that you will be emotionally fulfilled. And um, as I said, justice is in the near future. The Queen of Cups you are showing up as, so you are either... Uh, trusting in your intuition or people see you as being in a very emotional state a very um just looking uh, you know showing up as very very emotionally in this in-between stage it never is easy coming out of a relationship and moving into a uh, new one but you are trusting your intuition and going forth with a chariot and there may be a cancer coming into your realm uh, as I said before when the sun moves into cancer i would say you will have this indication maybe after the second consecutive full moon in your sign you will have the um the notion and the indication of this chariot coming in as i said when the sun moves into cancer more than likely you will find healing because the your angels are blessing you uh with with uh, a healing process and um you are persevering with the seven of rods. You will be fully emotionally um, healed and uh, you will find your right footing because you are getting to the ten of cups which shows that on all levels you will be very happy and very blissful. And the fight that you will be putting up will be a success with the five of swords. Now, the um, as I said before, the nine of pentacles showing at the bottom of your reading, uh, at the bottom of your cards, is showing that there will be a period of independence where you'll be able to stand strong and you will be able to accomplish this. Anyway, I have pulled some Sabilas, um, some Sabilas to add more clarification to these cards. And the first ones that I did uh, put down are with the Emperor card in the near past. We have the Viaggio. Uh, the uh, Viaggio means, um, uh, it shows a knight in shining armor, a guy coming in. Um, and this was probably your knight in shining armor, you guys. Um, maybe this, uh, there was happiness uh, back then, but uh, after, after thoughtful and um, information coming in, thoughtful, you know, putting thought into the matter, uh, you have seen that uh, we have got an enemy here because we've got the Ad Vista, which means that you have been going through a lot of thought. And um, the Ad Vista could also be a judge. So, um, yeah, it just speaks to the people who are uh, getting out of a marriage. And uh, the Il Nemico is the enemy, okay? So that's why... I have the indication that the Emperor was probably someone who wasn't uh, the right person for you. Now above uh, on the Ace of Cups I have pulled the Malinconia which um, shows uh, shows that there is um, yes there was worry um, but also this could be a card of nostalgia so um, you are looking at your past uh, with nostalgia, maybe looking at the good times that you've been through, but then came the hardship. And then we have the Giovina Fanquila, uh, which shows the Virgin. So the Virgin could be something new. And next to that, we've got the Amore. The Amore speaks of love. And if you can see the Amore card, Cupid is aiming straight for this single person, this new situation coming into your life. So there is love coming in. That's why I said before the star is shining on you. Do not, um, you know, don't uh, be worried that uh, there is nothing coming into your life. You will have the indication very soon. Uh, I did have another indication with the Six of Swords where you are moving on from troubled waters to karma waters. Uh, you are traveling away from the Namika. Namika is the um, is the uh, enemy. And uh, this could be, it shows a female, right? 
but uh, maybe sometimes we all have got uh, female and male uh, in us but maybe there was uh, maybe there was uh, some backstabbing and another woman in um, in your relationship maybe there was you know a uh, uh, another woman coming into your life into your partnership and again this will not resonate with everybody this will only be for a few of you so just keep that in mind then we have the superbia which is the card of vanity it could be the card of something wonderful um, coming into your life and uh, next to that we've got the fortuna which is the will of fortune so obviously something is changing and um, as says the uh, six of swords the uh, will is uh, the will of fortune is in motion now and bringing you uh, a lot more positive outcome okay now the three cards which i pulled on top of the queen of cups we have got the grand signora which means uh, generosity someone who is in a position to be very generous with you uh, this is also protection so you are being protected by the universe so say the um, major arcana cards showing up in your reading after that we've got the bambina which is something new so after being protected uh, the universe is blessing you with something new uh, something a new beginning next to that we've got the donna di servizio which could mean a friend someone who is there to be of service to you you are being supported so you have got a very good support system which is wonderful to see which is something that is very necessary going through a situation like this above on the chariot card i have pulled the email which shows the contract uh, it does show that um, the the actual picture shows that there is a um, a how can i say it an offer of love and an offer of a new beginning in maybe a stable relationship one which will be blessed uh, by the church or by the universe next to that we have got the sacerdote which could mean having faith having faith or solitude after a period of solitude uh the uh the universe is blessing this relationship okay next to that we have the denaro which talks about again it could talk about a new relationship a new marriage uh and a very very advantageous marriage so maybe this new partner of yours is going to be like the gran signore someone who is in a very financially stable position which is fantastic i do hope for you guys now the last three uh cards above the seven of rods i have the dottore which shows healing healing through support um the jealousia which shows that you have been through turmoil maybe there was jealousy in your relationship and um yeah you are overcoming so you are um healing from this terrible relationship which you were in and then we have the la greza al cuore which means happiness of the heart and it shows you dancing away and having a very um very happy outcome so it's great to see that we are having positive cards after a period of hardship yes full moons show culminations things coming to a close and then obviously with a new moon there may be a new opening for you and um, also uh, the new moon on the 4th of June is going to be all about uh, all about new beginnings so um, just make a wish around the 4th of June make a wish for the new, for your new path forward new moons always help when we put a wish in the uh, universe is uh, listening it has its ears open and um, it's just a great time to do to do that so um, do not forget that on the 4th of june now career wise i'm thinking that we are finding balance you guys sagittarius uh, are finding balance because we do have the justice card 
in the near future position and um, for some others of you there may be a partnership split because of the um, the justice card there which will bring more balance uh, for you and uh, of course because we do have the six of swords in the root of the situation um, maybe you are moving on from a troubled partnership but uh, you are persevering with the seven of rods at the end at the end of the reading your cups are all full the ten cups and the battle which you have put up the fight with the five of swords you are winning over your competitors you will be able to get through this and with the nine of pentacles being at the bottom of your cards at the bottom of the deck it shows that you are able to um to to be in a very positive materialistic financial situation okay so it's all looking good uh sagittarius um okay now i'm going to pull a card from the fairy fairy tarot cards by dorian virtue and radley valentine now you guys um sagittarius you are the last reading that i'm putting up because uh there weren't enough um weren't enough views for your sign so um this month i have gone from the most views the most likes now universe please show me for sagittarius what message are you wanting to bring forward for my Sagittarius friends, for love, career and general, for the month of June 2016, please show me, are we on the right path? Are we on the right path for Sagittarius? Show me, oops, one card just flipped open, Sagittarius, okay. The Ace of Autumn, that is beautiful. Ace of Autumn is the Ace of Pentacles. It's wonderful to see another Ace. And it says, a windfall of money, advice or assistance from others, a very successful project, a happy change in your career. So maybe, yes, maybe this uh, difference in uh, opinion with a partner and you guys going it alone maybe uh you are having a few changes in your career since you are on your own and there will be a beginning um with with uh, abundance ace of pentacles could mean new um new situations and new beginnings in all the realms of life and of course uh speaking of career again a windfall of money which is great um and you may be having good advice given to you by um by someone who is important um so it's just wonderful you know a new beginning uh, a new beginning on um on a materialistic um most importantly uh way in a materialistic way in a tangible way okay in a physical way so that's great that's a beautiful card for you thank you so much Thank you again for taking the time out. I will try and put up readings as soon as I can, but do bear with me. Um, thank you also for following me on social media and just being very supportive of my channel. Bye for now, Sagittarius. See you soon.